Jim Silver. And I'm Chris Byrne from TimeToPlayMag.com. And welcome to the Play Day! Woo! We are gonna play today! That's right, we're gonna show you the latest in new games and also some preschool toys. We have Playmobil, Fisher Price, and Play School. They're, they're the top heavy hitters. We've actually got some really cool products to show you, so also some Yay! great prizes to give away. So Let's but play. We have adult games, what we call party games. I always get angry when I play games. And yes, because the first one is anger, anger management. management. That's right, we love this game because when you're done playing with this game, your friends won't be talking to you, your family won't be talking to you, and you can just be plain hostile. And the HR department makes me play this game every day. Now, that's right. <laughs> I need my glasses for this game because I really Because you got to read. read. That's right. So the first thing you need is a character, and we're going to have audience participation, so we're gonna pick Who are you our, gonna be? I'm gonna be Furious Frank because and so you take your rage meter and I'm gonna be Road Rage Ronnie. And uh, Video Girl is gonna be Heather Hissy Fit Catch. All right, uh, yes, Geek Girl will be Tina Tantrum because that's what she's always that, doing. That is perfectly appropriate. And we gotta give them pens. And All right. Video Boy can be Enraged Enrique. There you go. Yeah, that, that <laughs> suits him just fine. So. <laughs> Normally you would play this a little bit more quiescently around the table. So how do you play? So, okay, there's a spinner and you would spin in their different categories. Oh, it landed on a line. So we're gonna land it on and the whiner is. So I would read a question, whoever's turn is to read a question and everybody These has are wipe off boards, by the way. Everyone gets a wipe off board okay. and a pen. So the idea is you wanna see what everybody's gonna end up picking. If you pick this, the majority, you end up getting a point and you go from perfectly calm to absolutely still. No, you don't! <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, you do. So here's the question. <laughs> it's being a Jelly no, time. it's not. That's not the question! Which player is most likely to say he, she will do something and then forget to do it? Oh, well, that's easy. That's easy. That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then everybody writes their answers, and then it's time to show <laughs> your card. Show your card. Jim! Jim. <laughs> What was this? <laughs> what, what do you got? I got Video Boy. He's always forgetting. Okay, well, two of our people didn't play, but two out of the three said Jim, so we actually go up one. So we're. Wait, I'm getting more angry and irritated. But now, actually, now we're just mildly irritated. Now we're just mildly irritated. Okay. So let's try a different question. Now there's the least favorite. Okay, let's wipe it off. Now you would normally use a towel. I'm going to use my expensive designer jeans. Ha! Another one is, <laughs> here's the least favorite one. Least favorite, uh, so we're gonna say, who is your least favorite of the Beatles? Ooh, who are we gonna insult? Everybody should have the same answer. Everybody should have the same answer. Yeah. Should all have the same answer. Okay, all right. Who's, who's your least favorite of the Beatles? Who do you got, who do you got? Ringo. Lennon. What? <laughs> oh, I have said because I couldn't stand oh. Yoko. <laughs> that, you know what? You don't criticize people because of who they choose to stay in bed naked with for two weeks. Oh, absolutely. So, so, so Geek Girl and I are now increasingly annoyed. So I'm not doing quite well. Now, there are other categories like bug off. So, like, we're not going to play this one. What bugs you off the most? Shag haircut, shag carpets, or shaggy from... Who we do? And that and that's one where that you actually make a stuff. choice, so you vote on it. So there's all kinds of great things. And you, what's your least favorite dairy product? <laughs> Wait. And then oh, here's another one. Pet peeves is another category. And pet peeves. So like, what is your pet peeve about Thanksgiving? You know what mine is? But relatives. Family. Yeah. Yes, family. 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 <laughs> family. We love our family. Not. Uh. So we have issues. Uh, but see, this is a great game for way, expressing those. Thank God our parents don't know how to use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, there's this anger management. It's $25 and stop asking. $25. It's from Endless Games. This is actually, you know, they've done a lot of really good games, Endless Games. And we're very we're very excited about their, the classic gameplay that they do and the sort of crazed twists on them. If you knew these guys, you'd understand where, where it's coming from. What's next? What's next? Another party game. You might know. Party. Remember Wits and Wagers? I do remember Wits and Wagers. Well, they have a new version. It's called Party Wits and Wagers. So, 
It is a betting game, but also about general knowledge. First thing you do, everybody gets a card with a character. Now like, here's the reason be. I like Wits and Wagers. is because, you know, a lot of trivia games are frustrating for people. Video Boy's going to be Kanye. But a lot of the, the video oh, here we go. trivia games here we are go. frustrating because people don't Little understand Little video girl them. is going to be the girl in the wedding dress. The bride. The bride. That's sure. right. Uh, let's see. Who's Geek Girl going to be? That looks like Geek Girl. Yeah? That's Geek Girl grown up. The, the glasses match. It's Geek yes. Girl's mom. Yes. Okay, so so here's the thing about, about this game is that a lot of trivia games are frustrating for people because they don't know the answers. But on this one, it doesn't matter if you don't know the answers because there's also a betting component in it. You have to guess. So in other words, whenever I play this game, everybody knows I'm the smartest one in the room. So they bet on my answer so they can get points that way. I so see. And you bet with... <coughs> You uh, have airball. You have <laughs> color coordinated. You see, whatever you get, two chips to bet. So, what color would you be? You would I'm be the girl. hat. Give me the hat. What color is Geek Girl? And she would be red. She's Granny. She gets the Granny glasses. Wedding Girl over there is what color is Wedding Girl? Wedding Girl is pink. So there you bet. And I don't know if Video Boy's playing because he, he's, he's trying to work. No, he's. I'm green. All he's right. Green. So we're gonna start general knowledge questions. Good for younger, can not younger kids? But this has like a racer on it too. It has a use I know. Pants. In um, what year was frozen pizza first sold in the U.S.? And I did not look at the Frozen end. pizza first sold in the U.S., okay. I'm guessing... Okay, so you, you put down your answers here. Hand in your answers, hand okay. in your answers. Hand in your answer! Hand in your answer. Answers? Answers, look. answers. Okay, so okay. we got four people playing. So Kanye is, is out okay. for this. Okay, so we flipped them I'm over. 1958, 1936, 1957. Seven. I think that, oh, that was me. Duh. No, that's me. I'm oh. the hat. You're 36. Oh, 1988. So you put them she in order. She put down the year she was born. Now, you can't <laughs> go over. The key is, you cannot go over. The idea is not to go over. Closest without going over. Forgot to mention that. What it's like Price that? is Right. Sorry. Ha! Uh, so, you now bet. So, I am going to bet one on me. And one on 57. I'm going to gonna bet one on you and one on 57. Girl, what year do you want to bet on? Uh, one on Chris. Give me a number. 57. 57 and, and one on 58. And one on 58. And what's the last color betting? Red. We, I don't know. We've all bet. We've all bet. Have you bet? Okay. Yes, we bet for her. We bet. We bet for oh, her. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with that. So, the answer is... Holy, and I can't say the word, 1957. Woo! <laughs> I didn't Jeff. look. I promise you I didn't look. Cheater. Cheater. I didn't look. I Cheater. really didn't look. It was a total guess. Since the development of the Rising Crust pizza, frozen pizza sales have jumped from $1 billion to $5 billion per year. And here's why I guessed that. I figured we were already into the Eisenhower years and sort of the pre-Mad Men thing, and the people were starting to have, you know, Red Cheater. Book and all that. Cheater. I didn't cheat. Right. I promise. I promise. So, I promise. Here are some other questions like on average how many pounds of cheese does an american adult eat per year i don't even want to know that answer oh this is scary how much does anybody 47 36 22 31 pounds of cheese oh wow moo and by the way greeks average 54 pounds of cheese wow crazy greeks it's crazy greeks i'm so, going to wisconsin now how many taxis are there in new york city or in what year would the can't what in what year did the candy cane first appear uh, 1928. 18. 1670. Oh. Wow. We're learning things. We're, well, and it's so, educational, so, too. By the way, <laughs> I was back so, in my head. So, I know, exactly. It's, it's, I miss my quill. <laughs> this is all about general knowledge, not book knowledge. It says 14 and older, but we can tell you 11, 12-year-olds can play this game. Yeah. Because it, it's wild guesses. And, and you can have teams. So you can get up to 20 people playing this if you want to, or however many you want to. So it's great for a party. It starts conversations. It's all about social interaction. And there's some twists at the end. As Chris likes to say, screw you factor that you can catch up. You can double down with Elvis and pays double. So it's a great party game. Easy to play. So we always like party games that take about one minute to learn the instructions. Exactly. But a lot of strategy and a lot of fun playing. 1999 from North Star Games. Uh, there's also the other, other Wits and Wagers versions. Uh, they're specifically for young kids if you've got them in your house. But again... You know, everybody can play and have a good time doing it. Exactly. Me. Exactly. Because I, I got the last word in. I always get the last word in. Speaking of... <laughs> you do, actually. Yes, mine. But we let him. No. Okay, so now... <laughs> another audience participation game. Another Yay! Party game. Okay. Last Thanks. word. Last word. This is like a, this is like a staff meeting in our, <laughs> in our right. office. <laughs>
Okay. So you start at the finish line or you start at the start line? You you set okay. it up. We're gonna start at the start. We've got uh, all our little characters who are playing. It has five. a it has a uh, a buzzer. timer, a buzzer. Now this is a buzzer timer. The buzzer timer. The buzzer timer thing you'd need to know is also random. So that that's gonna figure in this. So how do you play? How do you that? play? Everybody gets a subject card that we don't look at. Okay. Then we're gonna flip over a letter. Okay. Then once the first person names something in the subject card that begins with that letter. Everybody has to name them, and you can keep going. And whoever names the last word that fits in that category before the buzzer goes off gets a point. So when the buzzer, the last person talking when the buzzer gets off, goes off, yes. gets a point. But if the buzzer goes off where you're saying something, doesn't count. Okay. So you ready? Let's go. So the letter is A. Ah, apples, because I have things in the grocery then, store. So start... Hit the buzzer. Things in the grocery store. Apricots. Artichokes. Alfalfa sprouts. Anulati. Uh, atheists. They're not atheists. <laughs> in, in my grocery store, there is. That's because you live on Long Island. I got the last correct one. <laughs> the buzzer didn't go off, did it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't we, were, we were shouting. I got the last correct one. Apple so fruit. I, so I was going to say apple fruit. Yeah, but you said atheists. <laughs> so... so. Everybody would pick a next subject card and keep going. Pick a subject card. Subject card. Oh, I've got my oh, other one from before. Oh, yeah, that's right. You keep your subject card. And the next letter would be P. Think pie. Push. Desserts. Desserts. Uh, pie. Pumpkin pie. Pecan pie. Uh, princess pie. Profiteroles. Uh, <laughs> princess pie wins. Profiteroles I, won. I no, got you said on the buzzer, if you look up. Okay. I you, was going to say pickles. You can have that. You don't eat pickles for dessert so, unless you're like enciente. That's right. Last we have Dora one. Stuff coming. I'm to have a prank dancer wins the game. The idea is to get to the finish line. You win the game. I like this because it's so quiet. That's right. It's such a quiet game. You know, yeah. A lot of shouting and a lot of a lot of yeah. This is from Buffalo Games. This game has been out, but this is actually a second edition, a new edition from Buffalo Games for twenty dollars. If you notice all these games, they have great price points. It's not like spending forty, fifty dollars. Very affordable. It's a lot less than going to a movie, and you'll play this over and over. That's why we love games. It's twenty dollars, so, so uh, I think it's time to give away some games. I think so. So we, why should we have all the fun? No, why should we be the only ones who are cranky? <laughs> so we're gonna let you get angry and steamed okay. and ticked off. So and if you a, need a reason to get angry and steamed, angry you can have some awkward family photos. Or you can look at my photo album. <laughs> exactly. We're going to give away uh, Star Traveler in the Blurred Edition. And to celebrate your open-ended play, we've got a time to play mug. Yes. Yay! So this uh, giveaway will be active until Wednesday, August 29th, 2012. Till midnight. Till midnight. How do they enter, Jim? You go to timetoplaymag.com. You click on the play date. When you click on the play date, the rules will be there because we don't know what they are. But it, most importantly, it is Geek free. Geek Girl knows. Geek Girl knows. And I she's know. cleared them with our lawyers. It is, our crack team of lawyers. It is free to <laughs> enter. You have until August 29th to enter. And you can win anger management, offer family photos, a mug, travel blur, or the prize that's coming in our second segment. Woo! We'll be right back. Hey, we're back. We got some great preschool toys to show you here. He's cracking up. Cookie! Cookie! Uh, this is the cookie. This, by the way, you know the Cookie Monster's now healthy. All the cookie eats apples on the show and all types of You know, as a, never mind, we're not going there. This is the Come and Play Cookie Monster Kitchen Cafe. It's designed for kids 18 months and up. It's from Play School and it's got a lot of great features in it. We've got Cookie Monster here. Is it on? It it's on, on, of course. We've got Cookie Monster. Abby Cadabby. Abby Cadabby. And like a Abby wants a healthy snack. Now here's the cool thing. We're gonna give her, well, pizza isn't really a healthy snack. Pizza. Let's give her steak. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes into there, down onto the down into here. Lots of different interactive play. Here's one I love. You turn on the burner. Yep. Okay. Oh, it looks hot. Don't touch it. And it'll tell you the burner's hot. Don't touch it. There's different uh, vegetables that they can go through, different foods, all for the letter of the app. Let's flip to Elmo. Elmo will sing a song. Loves cookie. That's Cookie Monster singing, oh, I have to tell you. But you, you can also feed him, feed him the cake. There's numbers along here, different things to turn and twist. A design for kids 18 months and up that's very engaging. You know, 
kitchen playsets are always really, really popular, and this is really a nice, compact one. Uh, we actually like this a lot. It's Look. 59 It's $59.99. <laughs> Who's out of my kitchen window? Oh my gosh, you're scaring me. So you feed them all in there. Everything, moms are gonna like this too. Everything stores away right inside. On orange. It is an orange, so turn the burner off. You're gonna burn yourself. And it'll also take kids on a like cooking mission. On a cooking mission, so it gets oh. them gets them playing and cooking. Yeah. Okay, that was good. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna put this away because this is this is actually just a great beginning kitchen for kids 18 months and up. Who loves Sesame Street? Who loves Sesame Street? Here, okay. Take some tomato. Oh, when she had, when Abby wanted a healthy snack, she could have had the tomato. Here, geek girl, catch. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola. I've always wanted to throw tomatoes. K-S-S-O. -S -S yes. <laughs> es una casa de dora? Yes, I just like ringing the doorbell. I just like ringing the doorbell. Right, exactly. It's kind of like, oh, Get great. Right, it's, like, it's like you can do the Book of Mormon with this. <laughs> this the playtime together, Dora and me kitchen. What's exciting about this? It's the not kitchen. a kitchen, it's a dollhouse. Same difference. Uh, it's a dollhouse with a kitchen. I'm still on the kitchen. I know you love that. I know. And with the dollhouse, the cool thing about this is 30 different sounds and expressions, but bilingual. So kids will learn English and also learn Spanish. And it comes with Dora's entire family. That includes Poppy, Mommy, and Pepito. You know Pepito's? Pepito's right there. Where is that dog? Pepito's a dog. Aw, that's adorable. Now kids love dollhouses, open-ended play. You have to better. I gotta show you this because uh, and the, the name is actually Perito, but that's okay. There's a little dog door here. Yeah, the doggy door. Doggy door. Oh, look! I've come into the house. Uh, now, there's another great feature about this, Jim. Okay. Which is, it folds up. So well, first you gotta take up the staircase. We got. Uh, you know, I always have to do that. So. Okay. Are we gonna lock the mom up? <laughs> We're gonna lock mommy in the attic. We're no. Lock mommy in the attic. There, mommy's locked in the attic. Great. It's Dora. Party. <laughs> Dora does Jade Air. All right. Uh, the dog's in charge and Dora's in charge. Okay. And actually, this is a let's, nice way of saying no, everything stores together. Dad's going together. to bed. Mom's in the attic. Dad's in bed. And let's lock the attic. Don't dare stop It is really a party time. And it's all put together nice and clean. And Dora and Perito are left out in the yard. But actually, okay, so we're actually just sort of goofing on this. But all of this goes together, which is terrific for when you're storing things That's at it. the end of playtime. So it really does. It opens up, you can have a lot of great play with it, and then you, you can uh, fold it up to be a little bit more portable. This is $69.99, it's from Fisher Price. For kids ages three and up. Okay, so move that away. And it's on the Playmobil. Let's, well, matey, let's 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 go for a sale on your pirate ship. Arr, arr, arr. That's right. Yo, diddly dee, bing. Okay. Oh, it's got wheels on it. That's right. You know, the pirate ship has always been one of the most popular things in the Playmobil line. And this is, you can see, let's see, can you see the... It's got the Jolly Roger sail. It's got, it. it's got a cargo winch or cargo bay. You, of course, it's got cannons. Ready, aim, fire. Oh! The cannons fire. That's we're the best gonna, part. We're going to give you a nice shot of all of this as we slowly revolve it for you. Uh, lots of what well, you know, and what this means is there's 360 degrees of play in it. Did you see the cannon fire? <laughs> <laughs> and look, there's the here's the uh, here's the captain figure, which is great. There's no plank for people to no, walk. No, no, no. But you have this. Look, you have this. And what you do is for the bad people, you see there are people in there. And then you just crank it down. What? what it's, is that an oubliette? Yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait, I'm going to go down. Let's go down. I need two fingers to go you down. Need, maybe you need smaller fingers because it's made for a kid. Yes. So you can put it down into the hold. Yeah, and you can lower things into the hold. And look what we keep in One the hold. One Renault Tom Cowards motor car. Titanic. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> We capture the good people and put them in the hole. So as you can see, it inspires all kinds of open-ended, creative, narrative-based play. You have um, your anchor that you can drop. Right there. Anything. Now, the other thing, this does not go in the water. This no. is not a floating toy. This is really a place. Oh, look, there's a parrot here as well. Uh, so it's, it's a floating Polly toy. Wants a Polly wants a cracker. Polly wants a cracker. It's, a, it's not a floating toy, but again, with all the Playmobil stuff, this is really great, high-quality, well-manufactured stuff that kids are going to play with for years. We really think this is pretty... Pretty amazing. It's a construction toy that has a lot of play once you're done. 
That's great. Wait, and a treasure chest, obviously. And, and what's in a treasure chest? Treasure? No! Weapons! Oh, cool. Well, you know, that's a treasure of a kind. <laughs> yes, they are weapons. This is $80. It's, it's from Playmate for Kids 4 and up. 176 pieces in all. I said it was $80. Now, yo ho ho. Yo ho. You go off with the planet, and I'm going to bring, or the, with this, and I'm going to bring in this thing. I This is one of the most incredible you know, Playmobil this, sets we have seen. This is a story to tell about this. We had somebody who put these, you know, our sets together working with us. And the person who put this together said this was fun to put together, but even more fun to play with once it was put together. Now, I'm putting all the accessories over here in a pile, just like a kid would. This is called the Future Planet from Playmobil, and it really looks like a pod, a futuristic thing. They've got that sort of the, the growing thing in here, like Avatar, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Now, but wait, I'm going to turn on the power of the sun, which is also doubles as my and desk lamp. solar. And it starts the... Uh, it starts the solar-powered panel Which here. Is so cool. Now, in the story of this planet, everything is powered by these sort of red crystals. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knock everybody down. Is I'm going to put the red crystal into the uh, into the power unit right there. Turn it on, and it's going to power things like the light. And of course, things may attack you in your future planet. So you've got the laser gun. Now these will actually all work with other items in the series. You've got airlock doors to come in. You've got, wait, I gotta move this around really quickly. Sorry, hate to do that. It's got an elevator. It's got, of course, you've got your uh, your scientists, but you know scientists and alien are working seriously? together. I don't think anybody's really done anything like this. I don't in think this any category. This, I mean, this is clearly innovative, smart, and a lot of fun to play with. It really is, and it's again, you build it together and you, you have all kinds of terrific stories with it, really high quality. I just love this for, this is the kind of thing that obviously I would have played with a lot when I was a kid, because I loved space stories and the whole idea of living on another planet. And I love the beautiful design. <clears throat> And there you go, you're right inside. Oh, the, the other thing you can do is, is you can also remove the top and nice then, then kids can play with it like this as well. And you can see all the different things they can do. Again, this is really, really hours of play. Now, this isn't cheap. No, it's it, Playmobil. It's, it's high quality. It's $125. But this is one that we think that, you know, it's a good investment. Kids will play with it for a long time. It takes a while to put together. It takes this a while. This is not a half play. hour to put together. This is going to be an hour and a half to put together. But then a lot of play. And once it's together, you're going to play with it. And just, you know, really, really high quality stuff. I just think it's so clever. And, and really, there's a lot of space stuff out there for older kids. This is really the first sort of space story that's really designed for, for the, the Titan Solar, which the is, Solar, story. Which is kind of cool. So I think it's time to give some stuff absolutely away. Absolutely, it's time to give some stuff away. So, so what do we have? Let's move this to the side. Let, let, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back to our other planet. That's right. The other thing is it, it actually moves pretty easily. Okay, what right, are, so what are we giving away, no, Geek Girl? What do we have? Oh, the Brave Meritor doll from Mattel. Very and popular and sold out. Oh, oh, we love these. Hot We're, Rockets from Zing. These are awesome. Some brand new Creo Transformers. Which is kind of like Lego, but Transformers. And she's not throwing it in here because we are going to send you a Cookie Monster Kitchen Cafe. Cookie. Look, and, and there you can see the guy came through the window just like Jim did. That's so, so as inspired. So as we said early in the show, this is how you enter. You have until August 29th at midnight. At that point, we will turn into a pumpkin and the site will no longer exist. No, we'll be giving... Uh, 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 bite your tongue. We'll be giving away more stuff. So, okay. You have until August 29th, midnight to enter. And what you do is you go to timetoplaymag.com, click on the play date. Follow the rules. It is free to enter because we love to give away things for free. And there'll be something for you to do once you get there. Okay, so come play with us anytime at timetoplaymag.com where we're making the world a better place to play. We'll see you next week see to play. See you next week.